Welcome back to Unstable TV! And you're sure to Irish Couple Reacts. And do stay tuned because this happens every week. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you! So we were asked by a couple of different people to check out Irish Couple Captivated by Muslim. And now it's not us Irish couple, it's a different Irish couple. So yeah, I'm not really too sure what this video is going to be about, but let's check it out and see. So big shout out to everyone that sent this in to us in the comment section. We do appreciate you guys for the suggestion. And of course, how could we not go with Irish couple reacting on Irish couple? Like, let's go! You're truly representing, and I really appreciate that, you're truly representing the true values of Islam. You're not trying to change anyone's culture, you're not trying to change anyone's point of view. All you're trying to do is just have an honest, truthful discussion, and I really appreciate that. That's, that's a gem, yeah. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is you get your morality from the the common denominator of the faiths, yeah? So you see what's common and that's where you get your morality from. Would you say you get your morality from liberalism as well or do you rely more on... Yes. Yeah, and we say, look, I'm going to be as sceptical as I absolutely can. There's one thing that you have to accept and correct me if I'm wrong, and that is that you exist. Yeah? And secondly, would yeah, you course. say that the universe is uniform, regular, and stable? And no. what I mean by no. this, how comes this watch is not exploding haphazardly and randomly? Why is this not randomly? Well, you said the universe, not Earth. Floating yeah. away, you're just disappearing. You know how they say in quantum physics, isn't it? That something can just disappear and something can start floating away. So I would have to disagree. So here is where I'm going to go. check you up. So the universe is not stable and the universe is not uniform. What was the first thing that you said about the universe? Uniform, regular and stable. So it's not any of them. You have to assume yeah. that there is enough stability in the universe that you are able to reach home mm -hmm. without cars randomly like floating, without trees randomly floating. You can't do science. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you won't be able to do science at all. You can't live your daily life. So you agree with this point, yeah? Therefore, there needs to be an existence that explains this uniformity, regularity, and stability of nature. Would you agree with that? Mm, half and half. No, I wouldn't. An existence. Yeah, so you find that at the beginning no, where you acknowledge no, that you exist and that there is existence yeah so for th that was in premise number one where you say i exist and then you you're acknowledging that there is some stability yeah otherwise i mean we can't go an hour without there's there's going to be you know breaking news happens every hour there's going to be breaking news every minute <laughs> yeah big ben has disappeared Oh, it's appeared in, it's on top of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, see, Therefore, there is an tree. existence that explains that. Okay, great. Now, we now have to deal with that existence. Let's just say I have a glass of water. Yeah. Can you say, logically, I can create, say, a watch, or I can create a sandwich, mm. or your chain from that glass of water? So you're saying in order to make something, you need to have those qualities to begin with. Do you agree with that? Okay, great. Would you accept that in your observation of what's around you, there is consciousness, there's awareness of our existence, there is will, and then we agree there is power. Yeah? I'm flexing his muscles a little bit. <laughs> I see that, I see that. <laughs> he was flexing. Because there is consciousness, there's will, there's power, it makes sense for that existence to also have consciousness, will, and power. Yeah, makes sense so far? Okay, great. There cannot be, I'm going to get a bit technical here, feel free to stop me whenever, there cannot be an infinite regress of powers. Just like there cannot be an infinite regress of dependent things. Yeah? I'm going to break the second one down. Dependency. So I rely on something else. 
Yeah, that something else re relies on something else, and then it goes ad infinitum. Yeah. However, my argument is, you cannot have an infinite regress of these things, because if you have an infinite regress, that means one thing on another on another. Yeah, it has to end somewhere, isn't it? And we mm -hmm. say, and philosophers also agree as well, that we are dependent. There has to be a necessary being. Yeah, that's the end of that chain. Yes, yeah, the end of that chain, the necessary being. And then we now acknowledge that that necessary being has consciousness, has will and power, and there's nothing that came before it. So that necessary being has to be one, has to be independent, has to have consciousness, has to have will. Our pH test for God is Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is the one, Allahu samad, the everlasting and eternal. He does not beget, nor is he begotten, i.e. he doesn't give birth himself, and nor is he given birth to, and there is no one like him. Yeah, This is our pH test for God. Yeah, So as a Muslim, this fulfills our criteria for God. Now, Jennifer, would you think that somebody who's created us would be detached from us? Or would you think that there would be some effort being made from the Creator? Which of those two would you say makes more sense? The latter, isn't it? So with regards to the books, the main thing that you, I mean, uh, rationally, you would arrive to is this book is the same as it was when it was revealed. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if it's been changed, if the people that follow the book can't even acknowledge and take on board that, yes, this book is the same book that was at the time of the Prophet, uh, then, I mean, why, why should I accept it? Because it's been changed. And yes, I'm... No, no, go. Yeah, 100%. There's a fragment of the Quran which is dated all the way to the time of the Prophet and that fragment is not in Saudi Arabia, it's not in Iran, it's not in Iraq, it's not in Afghanistan, it's actually in this country and it's in the University of Birmingham. So the oldest fragment of the Quran is in a non-Muslim country, collected, carbon dated by non-Muslims. Yeah. However, now when you look into the Quran, how has it been preserved? Because the next thing you're going to say is, ah, that was back in the days. They used to write stuff down. And I remember in primary school when we would have to copy stuff down for display purposes. Sometimes if two lines end with the same word, our eyes would skip a line. And sometimes if I write something down and I introduce a mistake, he copies something down, he'll copy my mistake, he'll make a mistake and then he'll give the manuscript to you, you'll introduce your own mistake and then over time, so many mistakes will come in. This way of missing words and missing lines because of two words being the same, they're actually called homo utelutan and, uh, and parablepsis. You might be thinking, okay, but the Quran was copied as well, isn't it? No, out of all the holy books, Quran is the only one that is memorized cover to cover. You might be thinking, okay, I'm impressed, but I'm not too impressed because maybe you need to do that mind palace that Sherlock Holmes does and you have to really work on it. No, we have kids as young as six that have memorized the Quran and approximately, according to one study, 11 million people on this planet have memorized the Quran. Christians, I've, I've been here for a long time, I put stuff online, not a single Christian has come and said, we found a Christian that has memorized the Bible. Not one Hindu has come and said, somebody has memorized the Vedas. The third thing and final thing I'm going to leave you with is the Prophet. Yeah, you got all these people making claims, there's one book, you can grab it before you go, it's called Forbidden Prophecies. Yeah, you've got people, the Mayan, you know, the 2012, they said the world was going to end, the I Ching, the Chinese, the Scientologists and all these guys noticed their prophecies. And then notice when the Prophet Muhammad makes a prophecy. His prophecy is specific. For example, at the time of the Prophet, the Byzantines were losing against the Persians. However, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, no problem. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, within nine years, the Byzantines will beat the Persians. Now, at that time, they were losing. There was a plague. They were being attacked by the plague. They didn't have the uh, artillery. They were, they, they were in problems. However, within nine years, they did beat the Persians. And this can be verified by a non-Muslim at that time, whose transcript we have is called the Chronicles of 
Theophanes. And the final, final thing that I'm going to leave you with is how we preserve the sayings of the Prophet through the chains of narration. I can give you something the Prophet said, and I can tell you who narrated from the Prophet, who narrated from him, and who narrated from him. And there's a narration of the Prophet that he said, don't kill women and children. Well. Yeah? So the Prophet narrated this, and Abdullah bin Umar heard it from the Prophet. Nafi heard it from Abdullah bin Umar. Imam Malik heard it from Nafi. And then we can pick it up from their books. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Food for thought. Food, food for Thank thought. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Shake the welcome. Thank you so much. 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 Thank with the Quran has been written once and that's been it and there's been no changes about it right fair enough I know the Bible has been rewritten a few times and all that and so is it a holy text but then he said there that word of mouth yeah so word of mouth can have an error in it that that collapses on his copy copy down yeah point look we're trying to be as honest with everyone as we can but at the end of the day if you follow the religion you're going to be offended you know, same way if you were trying to preach a religion on top of us, we're going to be offended, you know, and we don't want to be offended, we want to be open minded because we're trying to understand each other. We're not trying to convert, but at the end of the day, you can't be saying to us you're free to speak on it, and then you're upset about the fact we're, we're speaking freely. Like, yeah. I mean, what he's saying, he's very intelligent, he's not, he's by no means are we saying he's not, he's a great speaker, obviously he's done his research, but for us, we don't feel that's going to be like a book that long ago can just be memorized and it was never rewritten. I just, I'm not buying it. I wouldn't buy it about any book. How can you know for 100% certainty that that was the original Quran and it still is now? Yeah. How can you 100% know? Because how, how were things kept back in the day? Yeah. Back, it was 14,000 years ago. Or sorry. 1400 years ago how could you have possibly made sure that, that was true our ancient texts in Ireland were destroyed as well and rewritten and there's a lot of different celtic design like we have the book of Celts, and trying to say to us that if people just memorized that and left the book like that we wouldn't believe that here like we're not saying what you're saying is incorrect or anything like that yeah but i'm sure there's people out there that have memorized the whole bible yeah and they have memorized all of the vedas like Saying that as well, like he's saying a bold statement there, saying you can't find one Christian that memorized the Bible. You can actually find a lot of Christians in Ireland, and you could find a lot of elderly people before they pass. They could tell you that book from cover to cover. Again, anyone that are followers of the religion, keep doing you. Do what makes you happy. That's not what we're here to. Like we don't want anyone to turn from their own beliefs. We're just giving our own two cents and our review on it. That's mm -hmm. all we're doing. We're not saying. You know we're completely against this or what he's doing is is good he's not forcing his opinion on anyone he's literally just talking about it and talking about it to people that are willing to listen yeah that's perfect because i mean if you want to go around and preach and there's people there that are willing to listen yeah to sit down and have the conversation which is that should happen too yeah it, like religion should be open yeah um well every religion should be open the only thing i'm a bit offended by and Fair enough, he's want to come at me in the comments and say, ah, oh, he's not doing this. She's not part of our religion. So we should have shook her hand the same way he shook his. Yeah. So look, what he's saying there, right? I love how he's trying to, he's not just trying to, you know, tell them this is it and that's it. He's trying to give them examples yeah. and try and relate to how they're learning and their upbringing might be. And the parents upon parents thing, I like where he was going with that. I like what he was doing. And I like the way what he's saying about the tablets, but saying that nothing was mismatched in, in the Quran, it's just, it's memorized. I find that hard to believe, and I always will. It doesn't matter what you show me, I'm always going to find that hard to believe. We want to learn as well, Yeah. but we're also going to have an opinion on it. Yep. And maybe, you know, we we could turn around 10 years and say our opinion was wrong, that's fine. Yep. But that's just the way it is. At the end of the day, we're here to learn, and we feel he gave us a bit, bit more perspective. Yeah. At the end of the day, let us know what you guys yeah. think. Do you what? What do you think by what he's saying? Is what he's saying true? The examples he's given about the Quran, 
do you believe like how many of you guys can memorize it and do you believe that it was never reprinted or retouched what what do you guys believe let us know of course a very big shout out to the original content creator do make sure you go check him out give him a like subscribe and share and all of that good youtube stuff and shout out to you guys for suggesting this we do appreciate you guys we're beautiful people of youtube and we have been unstable tv so drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of this reaction video and if you have any suggestions for us to do let us know too and as always we will see you in the next one